Hello everyone, my name's DJ Big Derek and today I'm showing you my sneaker pickups from winter 2021. Let me tell you, I've smashed it out of the park this season. I mean, I've hit on raffles, I've hit on manuals and I've hit on no one because I ain't been anywhere. As usual, it hasn't all been plain sailing, let me tell you. But with that said, let's get on with it. My first arrival of winter back in November was the Jordan 1 Low Reverse Bread. Have a look at that. Now if you don't know, they ain't talking about the bread that you bake, no. It is an amalgamation of black and red. And then they swap the way round that the black and red are. So it's reverse. Reverse bread. These were from, as the tag denotes, StockX. But I did get a pretty good price for these. Around £100. So around retail. Even though they were sold out, the resellers weren't too greedy on this little one. Very nice. Next, I have one of my biggest W's of the season. Which I don't actually have. Let me explain. I haven't been able to see my mate for a very long time. But... Sneakers blessed him with a win on these because I asked him to enter and he won. Of course he did. That's how sneakers works. It never does what you expect. But I'm talking about one of the best Jordan 1 highs of last year. Probably the best. The Jordan 1 high Mocha. Now this is footage of my actual shoe, uh, sadly I don't have it yet, but there she is. Colours are just beautiful, black, brown, white. They're very reminiscent of the Travis Scott Jordan 1 highs and lows with the black and brown. Um, but of course I didn't manage to get those, so these are, these will do, they're very very nice. Because I am paying a grand for the Travis Scott ones. Come with a couple of lace options. I'll probably keep the, the black. Um, but, you know, I always like it when they throw a nice little freebie in. Jordan 1 High Mocha. Thanks to my mate. And now something a little bit different for the channel anyway. Is a Vans. This is the Vans Times Colt Slip-On Pro. So like a Vans Slip-On, except I think you get a deeper insole because it's for a pro. Of course, what you won't know is as a young Derek, Vans were my favorite. I had the Slip-On, so classic checkerboard Slip-Ons I had. And then later in life, I had the lace ups. Um, just a classic shoe. Wear them, doing whatever. Don't worry about getting them dirty. A beater, I know people call them, especially in America. But lovely. Now, if the camera's focusing, you'll be able to see lots of kind of emoji esque symbols on there including skulls which just saying it's great fun and it's nice to have a little van back in the collection and if you look very closely for my eagle-eyed viewers they've written cult down there in the midsole i don't know if it'll pick that up and that's just, I mean, it gives me vibes of Halloween, goths, all that kind of thing, which I really enjoy. So, lovely little shoe. 
Next, and prepare to be blinded, it is the Jordan 1 High Volt Gold. Now that is bright, let me tell you. Here you got the Volt, here you got the Gold. And that's why they called it Volt Gold. It's a very nice looking Jordan 1. A lot of people are saying they wish it was just the Gold on both. So the Volt isn't for everyone. Also you've got a kind of exposed foam. So that, you know, that quite could get quite filthy. And you've got flaps. You've got flaps here, flaps there. And not everyone likes flaps. One good thing about this is people are going to see you a mile off. A bit like you're wearing high vis. So if you are in a job where you wear high vis and you still want to flex and wear a Jordan, this might be perfect for you. It's never going to be everyone's favourite, but I feel very lucky to have been blessed by the sneakers app to get these for retail. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you my first ever dunk. Finally. These are the Nike SB Dunk Low, caught purple. Why they called that, I don't have a clue. But they got purple, black, white, nice little colours. I don't think I have a purple shoe in my collection. So that's nice, isn't it? SB, of course, stands for special branch <laughs> no it doesn't it stands for skateboarding and I'm of course an expert in skateboarding now it's remarkable when you've been looking at dunks for so long you've been looking at a silhouette for so long and you finally get one in hand smells nice you've got to remember that these are highly sought after, sold at minimum twice the price, but often ten times the price. But because they're only sort of a £90 shoe, you do get some imperfections, glue stains. I mean, you get glue stains on a lot of Nikes. I don't know if the Jordan 1 Dior's have glue stains, but of course I haven't managed to get those. But yeah, a lovely, lovely shoe. I won this in a raffle from a skate shop called Route One. So, thank you so much, guys. I know you won't see this. Next, we have an absolutely gorgeous shoe and another dunk. This is the Nike SP Dunk Low Medium Curry and I love it. Materials are gorgeous, colours are gorgeous, dunks are gorgeous. What more could a Derek ask for? And I love curry, let me tell you, especially a Vindaloo. This is probably more like a, the colour of a korma or something. These are an SP dunk rather than an SB dunk. And that just means they're coming in orange standard Nike box rather than a purple. Now because they're SP not SB it means special project. And they would have called it Special Branch, but you can't have two SBs, can you? Two different ones. The materials on these, as I mentioned, are gorgeous. Soft, etc. Very nice looking. These are a premium dunk. So I think they cost like 
five or ten pounds more than the normal Dunk SP. Because I've heard the normal Dunk SPs, the quality of the leather and stuff isn't great, but then that's how they keep their price at £90 rather than the Jordan High, which is going to be 140 150 160 and I'm sure it'll go up even more. <laughs> Miraculously, I got these in an Offspring Instagram raffle. Now, if anyone knows about those, you'll know how difficult they are. You basically have like 30 seconds, they post the photo, and you've got to find two sets of keywords. Some are hidden in the text, some are in the picture, and an emoji. You've got to type those and your size before this raffle closes, which is a very short time. Because basically they watch and once they think they've had enough people, they close it. And I don't know, I had once I got in, because I've missed them many times, once I got in, I had a very good feeling and I got the message saying I got them. Now another thing they do, and if you've seen Offspring's posts, you might know this, is that once they resume in-person raffle pickups, they will ask you to wear one you want to collect the one you want. Obviously, if you never won, you can't. They're doing all they can to stop these robots and resellers. And for me, it doesn't matter because these are definitely a keeper. It's a bold claim and I'll, I'll reflect on it. But, well, they're definitely my favourite shoe I've got this winter. Whether they are my favourite shoe in the collection overall, they might be. They really might be. Now last and not least, another Jordan 1 Low. This is the Jordan 1 Low Berlin Grey or nickname Elephant Print. It's a pretty clean colourway, as people say. I mean, you've got grey, white, and then this elephant. And the lighter colours are going to be good for spring, summer, I reckon. They're very similar to the Jordan 1 Low Parises I have. So I'm, I'm amassing a good Jordan 1 Low collection right now. But because it's more leather, those were suede. So those, I think, they're going to get very dirty. Those are a bit more special, but hopefully these I'm brave enough to wear out and about. So that's about it. As always, many L's. I mean, I'll show a few of them here. But I think worst of all was the Supreme Dunk. I was on there 11 a.m. Try and try and try. Out of stock, out of stock. Come back in stock. Try again. You know how it goes. Eventually, I managed to get some. Order went through. Everything's fine. Got me order number. A few days later, the money comes back. They had cancelled my order and my biggest win of the year and a dunk. What an absolute shambles. I just pray there's going to be a surprise drop of these on the sneakers app. Not that I have the best luck with them, but you never know. But that was a big mess up. And to believe you got them, to be elated and then let down like that wasn't wasn't a good look that aside i think i've done pretty well i've got some dunks i've got jordans i've mixed it up with some vans and man the curry dunks beautiful anyway thanks so much for watching do subscribe and some advice for you never give up just keep 
entering all these raffles and one day you will get there. I believe in you. <laughs> See you very, very soon.